applying a no-break character style once in a while is fine. But if you have a long document riddled with proper names or with phrases that you want to be exempt from hyphenation or being broken up across lines, then you've got to get a little more automated in your no-break application. Start out with a no-break character style and make sure that that style has nothing in it but the no-break attribute. That means any formatting that's already applied to the text will remain intact. The only override will be the no-break attribute. Start with that. If you're pretty sure that you're never going to change anything, you can, of course, do an edit, find change, and find all instances of a particular phrase. Choose change format, character style, no break, click OK, leave the change to blank, and hit change all, and it will tell you it's now made however many replacements throughout your document. When I click OK, you can see that John Johnson has been set to the no break character style in both instances. I'm going to undo that. Now that's a viable way to do it using fine change. But a more automated way is to have the change automatically happen every time the phrase John Johnson appears. And to do that, you build it into the paragraph style. So here on the paragraph styles panel, you can see that this text is body copy. So I'm going to edit body copy, and then I'm going to go down to grep style. I'm going to choose new grep style. Apply style. Let's choose the no break to text John Johnson. When I tab or click away from there, you can see that it instantly applied it to John Johnson. If you didn't see a change, make sure preview is checked in the bottom left corner. And I hit OK, and now every time I start to type, or every time I type John Johnson, it's going to automatically set that via the grep style in the paragraph style to no break. Now the same thing can be done for a name like WC Fields, but there's an extra step you have to take because there are periods in it. It's not just a textual phrase. So I'm going to go into body copy, edit body copy, go down to grep style, and add a new grep style. Let's apply the no break character style. And we will make this W slash period. The slash is to escape the period because the period is a special symbol in grep searches. So you have to escape it with the preceding slash. C slash period space fields. And then I'll hit OK. Now, you didn't see any real change because it's already on a line by itself. But if I start deleting text here, you can see that where it would have broken at the space there, it won't anymore. It's now a no break. You can do the same thing with any phrase. If it's a non alphanumeric character, however, you will need to escape it with that slash in the grep style.